right, good morning and welcome to another fun fair vlog, theme park vlog, amusement park vlog, whatever you want to call them. Um, yeah, here at the Funland in Tropicana, but it's actually just called Funland Theme Park now. Um, but yeah, it's um, last year I think it was all Darren Matthews rides, now it's another contractor that's brought some rides in. There's, there's actually three, I think there's three credits in here. There's an SBF Visa spinning coaster just in there. And there's also a SBF Visa Cyclone coaster as well. So yeah, nice to be back at Western Supermare. Hope you enjoyed the vlog from last night at Letchworth, Stanley Thursday and Funfair. Joined by a couple of friends as well. I'm out with Martin and Charlotte and Mo and David have come down. So here we go, doesn't look too busy. It's 22. 12 we actually set off around half 10 this morning it took us about two hours to get here uh, you've, also, you've got uh, rock rage which is quite a well-known ride and we'll be going on that <laughs> uh, you've got the sbs visa spinning coaster just here you've got the sbs visa drop tower just there which looks really cool really enjoy those you've got the other coaster at the back there the euro coaster that's um, yeah, I think it's been to the UK, but I haven't seen it before. Never, definitely have not been on this one before. Uh, there's a few other rides as well. I can see a Matterhorn over there. I think there's a Waltzer at the back. So I'll walk around anyway and show you what's here. Works on a token-based system from what I can see. Uh, it's buy 20 tokens to get four bonus tokens. There's no prices on anything. <laughs> So I don't really know, but uh, we'll definitely get some tokens and we'll get on some rides. I'll only be here for a few hours and then we might end up going to Breen for an hour or so. We don't really know yet because uh, parks have just opened up and we don't know what's available at the moment. But uh, you are right, guys? Nice to see you again. I haven't seen you since Oakwood 2019, wasn't it? Wow. Three years this time. That was ages ago. <laughs> But yeah, nice to see you again. Yeah. Should have a good few hours here on some rides together. And obviously Martin and Charlotte again. I haven't seen you for ages. I haven't seen you for I ages. People ages. have been begging you to come back on the vlogs. <laughs> so there's three, three already. People to be with. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> so yeah, Spinning Coastal is really good. I think we need the toilet first. Yeah, toilet first, because we had a two hour drive. I'd be nice Starbucks coffee. In the uh, in the car on the way down. Really like it here. If you're not too sure what this year used to be, I think it used to be some sort of outdoor swimming complex. And then the Banksy, the artist, actually had a exhibition on in here called Dismaland, and it didn't last very long. It was only like six months or something. I think it was on for. We actually tried to get tickets to come, but it had sold out so quickly. You can still see some like bits of it on the walls and things but uh, yeah it's supposed to have been really good a bit gutted that we didn't do it actually also got a dodgems just here as well there's a frog jump over there i actually thought there was a star um a superstar here but i can't say it but uh, yeah we've got the toilets which are just over there and i'll see you in a second right so they do all sorts of deals and things on there uh, as you can probably make out on the top there where it says different bonus tokens you get and depends on how many you can get but uh, it works out a pound a token so i've got 20 tokens for 20 pound you see the gold ones there so what you've got to do is say a ride say four tokens you mix three reds with one gold as well the other thing is as well we're not sure about this is how dedicated we are as coaster enthusiasts and getting the creds a lot of people probably won't even be bothered about this but well, we reckon we've already been on this at the, at the Frankfurt Dippy Mist in Germany in 2019. Although it could be just a, an off the shelf model, we're not sure. There's no backflash. There's no backflash on this. The are a different colour. Yeah, so we're not sure. First world problem. <laughs> it is. There's also one of them little um, mine train coasters just at the back there. I'll show you when we do a quick walk around and show you what's here. I've just asked the woman as well again because it's outside. We don't need to wear face masks walking around or on the rides as well. Um, I think you may sort of do at theme parks and places, don't you? Did you have to wear them at Thorpe Park? 
No, only on the ride. Only on the ride, yeah. So I think it's. How will you reach I think there's like only Disney Universal and the German parks where you've got to wear and walk. While you're around. walking around, yeah. yeah. So because it's open air, which is great. And the other thing is as well, I was actually thinking about this just a minute ago. I know we're desperate for indoor theme parks and amusement parks here in the UK, but we're actually at the moment with the restrictions and stuff. If we did have an indoor theme park, amusement park, it wouldn't be at open anyway. It's the same with Fantasy Island at the moment. I know a few people have been, uh, have actually gone there today, uh, in fact. And to be honest, I don't really see the point in going until the 17th of May when all indoor attractions can reopen because the pyramid's all closed and they've got two brand new rides inside the pyramid. So it's one of those, isn't it? Do you go and get a couple of coasters that you've already been on? Or do you wait until it can reopen and you can go on the in brand new indoor rides? It's one of them, isn't it? People keep asking when I'm going back to theme parks already. We're going to Poulton's Park tomorrow. So if you're watching this, we're going to Poulton's Park tomorrow. So that'll be the first theme park of the 2021 season. So yeah, if you watched last night's video where we went to the fun fair, uh, the, the Stanley Thursdens, the Go Gator was my first roller coaster of the season. I can't believe it. So we'll get on the the cyclone coaster over there. I think it's called Euro Coaster. So it's over there somewhere. We'll go and do that first, I think. Get on some nice big coasters. But we'll show you what's here as well. What's that? Donuts already? Donuts. Oh, yeah. Priorities. Priorities, isn't it? Priori priorities. We have, we have just eaten like Starbucks, Caramax. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chocolate chuck shortbreads. Have you got your tokens yet? Right, let's go then. Sorted. Are we sorted? Are we ready? Let's do it. Let's send it. Right, let's go. Well, yeah, nice little area, this Funland uh, theme park, as it's now called. If you do go on the roller coaster database, which we all do, see what's new, it's still got the old rides that were here last year, the Darren Matthews rides, which, uh, which was the Crazy Mouse. Oh yeah, chocolate to Tony's chocolate Tony's. Tony's chocolate Tony. Hey, hey, it's pretzel. She's on a diet. <laughs> it's pretzel. Pretzel. Pretzel, pretzel flavour. Well, I'm having some of that then. I like pretzels. I don't. I don't like standard pretzels like they do in America, where they cover them in salt. It's they're just they're disgusting. This one looks like it. It does look like the same one. We'll ask him when we go on there if it's where it's come from. So she sure. That's the thing, we're that dedicated to getting on coasters and collecting the coaster credits that if we think we've been on it, then we're like, ah, do we put it down as a credit or not? Again, a lot of people won't even bother. They'll just get on it, probably don't even know if they've done it before or what, but yeah, it looks like we've got it. This is a, a ride I've definitely not done before. It's, I've done the, the, the ride type. SPS Visa Cyclone or Interpark or Pinfari, they're all the same type of coaster. Definitely not done this one before, it's called Euro Coaster. Got over the shoulder restraints on this one. <laughs> For some reason, yeah. Again, good thing about coming to these sort of places over the theme parks, you can film on the rides without asking for permission. Uh, maybe just not use a phone, but use GoPros, but yeah, you can film on rides. You've got some pictures here, you've got your frog bounce here as well. Again, no idea if I've been on it or not. Jump and smile. Loads of kids' rides. You've got a twister, sizzler there, that one's a sizzler in the middle. Bolter, and your Matterhorns over there, and your runaway trains over there. And you got rock raids there in the middle, which I definitely won't be going on. Well, yeah, let's uh, send it on the Euro coaster. Right. First big coaster of 2021. Right, send it on the Euro coaster.
apart from the screaming in the back. the uh, first major big coaster of 2021 it's not exactly a B&M or anything like that but still a coaster at the end of the day and it was Euro coaster and it was very good now I think that's one of the best one of those I've ever done very very smooth pretty quick didn't train as much on the brakes like some of the other models do and some of the newer models do love the cars as well I think we was in uh, yeah we was in Rome because the operator's a fan of the channel. It's a getting Rome, it's just got brand new bearings on it, so it wasn't too bad at all. Uh, I'm not sure it needs the over the shoulder restraints, but yeah, I really enjoyed that. That was a very good coaster. Also, great views from the top as well, looking at Western Supermare. The beaches here are absolutely stunning. You can see for miles as well. How was that, Mo? Yay! My first one of 2021! You've also got some kiddie rides as well, juveniles. Very nice rides here. Sizzler just here. Little train there for the rock kids. Waltz are just over here. It's a lovely day today, really nice. 12 degrees. Might be able to get the drone up in a bit as well, but it is a little bit windy though. Nice looking waltzer. I've done that one before. <laughs> Midnight Express, I think I've done that. More kids rides here in the middle. Another Racerama, they seem to be everywhere these days. Got the run, run, runaway train at the end, uh, behind. And uh, Rock Rage, definitely not doing that. Yeah, lovely day today. Like I said, we're not sure what we're doing after here. We might nip to Breen, I don't know. But there's a, there's a lot of fairs on as well. Please go and support your local fairs this year. They really need the support. I already had a message this morning saying, when are you going to your first theme park? But for me, the priority is getting to these smaller places and the fun fairs, because they really need the support. Especially when they've been closed more than a lot of the theme parks and amusement parks have. So yeah, you've also got the runaway train. I've probably been on this. I've, I've done so many of these as well. I don't know where this one's been, but I did two at the uh, Nottingham Goofs for a couple of years ago. So I don't know. I like to say Midnight Express as well over there. So good selection of rides. Get yourselves here. Funland theme park in Western Supermare. Right, don't laugh. Yeah, we're on the kids coaster as well, again. <laughs> a cred is a cred. I know a lot of people that wouldn't even bother coming on here. But we're all on this, we're all on this one. <laughs> we're all on this one. I don't know if I've done it or not. I've no idea. It does look pretty new though. I just asked the operator, he hasn't got an idea. Yeah, he's no idea either. But they all look the same. They've all got the Disney, fake Disney branding on it. <laughs> It's nice though, it's a nice, it is pretty, it's pretty new. One way to tell sometimes with the travelling ones, you normally get the license plate at the back of the trailer. That's one way of seeing, I still can't even see, oh there it is, there's the trailer number. What a lovely day it is today. We get about 20 laps on these, man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Have one of these in my back garden. 
I really would, I'd love it. If I could afford it to buy a little travelling coaster, I would. I'd love it. Just do it as a part-time thing at the weekends. I'm guessing something like this is quite expensive though. Well, you'd need a HGV license to pull it off. I don't have that. But there you go, runaway train. I ain't got to film the whole thing. I've decided I'm going to count it as a cred. We just asked the operator and he reckons it's brand new. I mean, you can tell it's brand new. It's, if, it, if it was one that had been on at Nottingham Goose Fair, which was, I don't know, two or three years ago, you'd see some corrosion on the track. There's nothing. It's, it's so clean. Brand new, yeah, I'm gonna count, I'm gonna count it. Again, don't judge me, don't judge me. You gotta get the credits if you're a coaster enthusiast. Right, I think Charlotte's going on rock rage now, yeah, and we'll... We'll watch. We'll watch, we'll, we'll, watch. Watch. we'll, we'll, we'll watch. watch, we'll watch, we'll watch, we'll watch. It's not, it's not even that extreme, you've been on PMG no, Infinity. Oh, no, 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 you're all right. No, no, I don't like them. I did, I did the one that was a Stoke Winter Wonderland. Uh, no, it's not the same. But I nearly blacked out on that one. I was seeing stars, Charlotte. See, oh, wow, I was seeing stars, you know. Pendulum ride. I know, that was pretty cool, though. That was good. past it here just thought I'd show you this all the uh, covid stuff that they've got on here but yeah funland it, it was the funland at the tropicana about funland theme park now western supermare but yeah social distancing clean your hands that's pretty much on there did the qr code thing before as well i was just spotted as well with this decking just down here there's quite a lot of uh, drop tokens that have gone down in between the decking charlotte just went on rock rage said it was all right didn't you i think i could have managed when, when you've been on kmg infinity you know it's a bit uh, out of this league but it's actually better than i remember it being so you reckon i could have done that one yeah what 100 yeah. you've been on infinity i've been on infinity but look at my hair now it's ruined it's not yeah it is it's all come out <laughs> So, ages to do this with my bad route. I should have got I should have brought my gel with me. My hair's starting to get a bit fluffy at the front now. Yeah, we're going over to do the drop tower now. Cred life though, isn't it? That's what it is. Cred life. Little SPF Visa drop tower. Um it's not ex the exact same model, but Croc Drop at Chessington World of Adventures. Their brand new ride there is technically one of these, but um, a fixed one, this is a, a portable one. You've not got a three hour queue though. And no three hour queue either. It's, 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 well, other than that cycle, there's no one waiting for it. Love these, really good rides. Takes you up, not too high. And then you, well, you'll see it, you see it there, spins and drops and stuff. Croc Drop as well has also got Perspex in between the seats, holds 16 riders. It's got Perspex in between the seats uh, to help with that social distancing. It's not really needed to be honest, but uh, yeah, they're a good little ride. I really enjoy these. So uh, let's go and queue up and get on it. Right, here we go. Send it on drop tower. I love these. These are great. Quite a few of them now. Great views. I got it. It's higher than the coaster. Woo! Really 
long cycle on it as well. Here? Oh, wow. <laughs> it feels sick. It's actually a longer cycle on this than uh, Croc Drop. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> Great views of the fair. Amusement park, theme park. It's, de it's definitely not a theme park anyway. <laughs> it's not themed to anything. It's an amusement park. It's themed to a fun fair. It's the yeah, themed to a fun fair in Western Supermare. Beautiful day. Beach is busy. Fortunately, we would have gone on the uh, the Grand Pier, but it's all closed today because of the uh, indoor attraction rule. This one was three tokens as well. Woo! It's good, isn't it, Ryan? Wow, really good ride that. I just want to show you how shiny this floor is as well. Look at that. Really cool. Mate, you can get some really good pictures from that. Alright, next ride. Loving these shiny floors. Right, we might have been on it. I don't know if we've been on it. Well, we're going it, going it anyway. Three tokens again for this one. Spinning coaster. Yeah, yeah mate. Right. Cheers. Right on the front. Yeah, it's past the front that side. Oh, well, the back, yeah. The back, you want to go on the back? Yeah. Go on the back. Really like these. These are spinning coaster. Really comfortable seats. A lot of people go, oh, yeah, it's a kid's coaster, but not even for my size. Fitting these really well. Just the same as the uh, drop tower, pretty much the same sort of diameter seats. Very comfortable actually. Not a bad little ride these. Right, time to send it on the spinning coaster. We're not sure, well I'm not sure if we've been on it, but the ride attendant just told me it is bought from Germany, but it was actually in an indoor amusement park. So we're not sure, we're not sure, we're not sure. Give it a go anyway. There she is. I love these, these are so good. Really comfortable trains as well. Woo! <laughs> I do like Tidal Wave at Clarence Pier though, because it's got a little bit more to it. Bit of a different track layout, but technically the same ride. Woo! Ah! <laughs> They're pretty intense as well, they're pretty good. So don't knock it. Don't come to places thinking, oh, I ain't going on there because it's a kid's coaster. Because it's not. It's a, it's a family coaster. I fit on this perfectly well. Little kids can get on it. It's really smooth. And it's pretty intense as well. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I love it. Again, three tokens for this one. Got quite a few of these in the UK now, and this is the first time it's been in the UK at this place. So if you want the credit and you haven't been on it, come to Western Supermare. Woo! Oh yeah! Ten lap special. Oh! There you go. Roll back into the station. See if we can send it again. <laughs> Good. Brilliant, loves it. Right, here we go. Time to send it on Midnight Express. Let's go. Go, go, go.
Oh, missed it. That was brilliant. So we've left Funland, which is just behind us down there. Uh, we're actually looking for somewhere to eat, probably get some fish and chips. There's plenty around here. British seaside town are very famous for fish and chips. Just gone past the uh, the wheel. I don't know if it's making it out. I can't see it, but it's it's over there somewhere behind me. They also got the Grand Pier just here. They've got an indoor amusement park at the end just there. Been there a couple of times before. Done a vlog. It's on the channel. Um, but it's closed um, because of the social distancing and stuff like that. There is people walking on there, but I think it's like staff and stuff, but you pay like a pound to get on there. They've got some rides inside, really good ghost train. In fact, one of the best ghost trains in the country. Drop tower, go-kart track. It's really, really good. When it opens, get yourself down here and check it out. The Robo Arm, yeah. People think Fantasy Island are going to open. No, I doubt it. I doubt. There's four know. people, win it, on the yeah, end of the Yeah, I don't island. know what Fantasy Island they're getting, but these two brand new dark rides, or two new rides indoors. But yeah, the Grand Pier is just here as well. Fantastic traditional pier. Well, yeah, we're looking for uh, chippies. There's one just here. The queue runs from there to over there. Or is it back down there? No, it's back down there. Oh my God. <laughs> so we're not it's back. Yeah, we're not going there. I don't know where we go. It's normally the thing is like after living in Morecambe, some of the best fish and chip shop places were like down the back streets, like not away 
from the promenade where people would normally go and get them so I don't know, we'll go and find somewhere and then we'll walk back down to Funland and get the drone out, get some aerial shots as well. But uh, looking forward to some chips and gravy or chips and curry sauce. So that's it, we've got to wait for the another, another thing, but it's really busy here. It's absolutely rammed. 13 degrees, it's still cold weather, isn't it? That's why you come out with a rug. A rug, that's yeah. why you come out in a rug. Because it keeps you warm. Keeps you warm, yeah. Right, so we're back in Fundland now. Uh, we just walked. Eh? Fundland. Um, <laughs> this what? Three o'clock. Yeah, it's nearly three o'clock. Um, we just walked down the promenade, got some footage there, took the drone up. So I hope you enjoyed that drone footage. Uh, we had the worst chips ever. They were terrible. But yeah, we're now back in. Um, we did still eat them. We're now back in Fundland now, and it's about to be the uh, the one minute silence. Um, for the uh, prince, so yeah, yeah, Prince Prince Philip, Prince Philip got it right that time. Yeah, yeah. It's not yeah. It's like three minutes away, but all the music's been turned off the rides. Not yet, a couple of minutes yet. It's pretty eerie, really. None of the rides are running. That's it, a lot of lads coming off the, the jump trampoline now. But yeah, I actually did the uh, Duke of Edinburgh Award when I was in the Air Cadets when I was younger. Um, very sad, isn't it? You know, it really is sad. 99 years old. Um, it's very rare that it, during our lifetime that we go through something like this, that a key member of the royal family dies. Still got a couple of minutes to go. But yeah, good to see everyone adhering to the silence coming up in a couple of minutes time.
right, there you go, paying the respect there for the one minute silence. Um, going back onto the coaster now, just using the rest of my tokens, I've got four left to use up before we go. Um, it's a good little coaster, might as well go back on this again, and then we'll all nip outside, get some more drone footage, flying over here, and then that'll be the end of the vlog, we'll call it a, a day really. I think we're going over to have a look at Breen, if we actually go in and go on any rides, we don't know. I've got, an eye, I've got, a, I've got a feeling it's going to be pretty busy there, because it's their opening day today in Breen. Um, <laughs> and I don't want to go somewhere and queue up for rides that we've been on quite a lot. I don't think there's anything new at Breen, is there? Not that we know of. Yeah, there's a Ferris wheel there that they added last year, but we didn't go last year, so... We might go later again in the year to Breen and do a, like, do a full day in Breen because uh, Lisa quite likes it there, like it's going on Terra Castle our favourite ghost train in the UK you got Astro Storm which is now, currently my favourite indoor dark coaster because as you know Lightwater Valley have got rid of Raptor Attack very very sad news about that regarding the Lightwater Valley I highly doubt we'll be going this year They've taken out a lot of the big rides. Um, the ultimate is SBO, which means standing but not operating for the rest of this 2021 season. And they've just added like five kids' rides, so it's not worth us going. Regarding Flamingo Land, not sure we'll be going there either. Um, their brand new coaster, the 10 inversion coaster, they reckon it won't be opening this year at all. So, again, no point going, we've been on everything. I don't see the point going to parks. Yes, it's good to go and support these parks, these big, but these big corporation parks have actually managed all right because they stayed open with the zoo and stuff like that. It'd still be good to go, and uh, I quite like Flamingo Land, but I just don't see the point in going somewhere that's got a new investment and you can't get on that new investment. I'd rather, like I said, I'd, well, she didn't vlog bombing. Like I said, I'd rather come to the smaller places like this and the fairs because they really need the support this year so anyway enough of me talking he needs the support you don't need no support we get on the coaster and i'll uh, i'll see you at the end i'll chuck in some uh, some drone footage as well but yeah i'll get some another pov on here and i'll wrap up the vlog at the end Final ride of the day here in Funland Theme Park in Western Supermare. Ride with Martin. Here we go. coaster here at Funland theme park we're actually going now we've really enjoyed it here with well, the actual day at Western Supermare we would have gone on the pier the Grand Pier but with it being an indoor attraction and it's closed we can't go on there so we'll come back to Western in the uh, in like the summertime or later in the year anyway I've really enjoyed it here we've gotten quite a lot of rides in fact we rode pretty much everything Obviously the uh, kids rides and that uh, rock rage over there I didn't bother doing. 
But uh, nice to see Mo and David again. And you? And you? I can't. I'm not doing it on camera because I look like a right Phil. But yeah, it's. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll write a name down at the bottom here. It's. Is it a Welsh name? It is Welsh. I can't name. Made it up. And it's called. How do you pronounce it? Mavanu. 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 But it's got like an F in it. It's. I'll, I'll write it here. Let's see if you can try and pronounce it yourself. So for next time. But yeah, nice to see you guys again. Oh, we're, see you later, mate. Well, we're off to Breen, aren't we? I think. Are we've, we? we've got to have a look, aren't we? How are you getting there? I don't know. I'm walking. <laughs> I'm walking, I'm with them, I'm with them. <laughs> but now I'm gonna go outside and get some more footage with a drone, which will stick at the end of the video. Hope he's staying here. We're gonna get some more chips. We've gotta get some more rubbish chips. Yeah, they were awful though, yeah. They're not good at all. No, good flight, good selection of rides here. If you've never been, get yourself here. I like I keep saying, don't keep going to the same places all the time. Come and check out somewhere new. If you collect your coaster credits, there's three of them here. Again, we're still not sure if we've been on that spinning coaster, but we've been on it. She's confirmed it, we've been on it. I ain't I ain't adding it then. We haven't had it. I've, I've zoomed in on that picture, it is exactly the same. The same yeah. I've looked at every nook and cranny, that is not a cred. Yeah, we've already got it in the dippy nook. mess in Frankfurt. There you go. You heard it, it from going, Charlotte, yeah. nook and cranny. The thing is, right, why can't they leave the rides in Germany then we can't get confused? Yeah, isn't it? Well that's it, we're going now, very very busy here, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell for next time I upload another video, and I'll see you in the next one, bye for now.